everyone, welcome to Los Angeles. Today we're here at a top secret location. We're gonna go on a little journey from the octagon to the ballroom as we catch up with UFC strawweight Paige Van Zandt as she prepares to compete on Dancing with the Stars. for a long time and so I know about your background as a dancer and somebody who's always enjoyed the art of dancing. So before this was a possibility here on Dancing with the Stars, did you watch the show? I did. I loved the show. For me, I didn't even think that it could be a possibility for me to be on it. I, I just loved watching it. It's the whole production of it. It's just an amazing show and when I got the call that they wanted me to possibly be on it, I was just, I was thrilled. It still kind of doesn't seem real and I think it'll really set in once we perform our first dance. How much did your training for fights help you adapt to this? The fighting really helped me transition over. I mean, we train so much. We have practices throughout the entire day so my whole, it's a it's a full-time job. Fighting is a full-time job. Yeah. So now that I come here, I have all this extra like spare time on my hands. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm still training at the same time as doing this it's just it's a full schedule but that's just so what I'm used to because that's what Team Alpha Male does. Mark Vallis is your partner and Mark has won the Mirror Ball Trophy before. He's the consummate professional when it comes to this world but he's also a huge UFC fan. Yeah. So <laughs> has that helped to make the adjustment to this world a little bit easier? It really did. Having a partner that understands what I do for a living and understands <laughs> what fighting is, what fighters do, what they put their bodies through, it's really really helped. So it makes it easier for us because I, I want to go in and I, I want to learn and we go in we hers for a few hours and then we're done. She has an incredible work ethic. She works really hard. She doesn't complain. You know, we come in here and we really, really sweat. We have a great time as well, but we work hard and um, you know that's what it's all about. And uh, she's got, as a coach, she's like the dream partner. You know, someone that wants to work hard, someone that's interested and wants to be here. And um, it, it's, it's been great so far. I think people are gonna be shocked by her. Because you've been trained a little bit in the dance world, I know not ballroom and not yeah. with a partner. How has that helped you at least kind of have a step in the right direction? It definitely helps. I, I can hear the music, I can listen to the music. Whenever we're not touching each other, I look great. <laughs> <laughs> I have to touch him and it's like so awkward because I want to be the one leading him. She said that she it's a little too aggressive maybe, like she might push you off if you have to redo something because she's so used to uh -huh. being in a gym and in a fighting atmosphere. Yeah. Did that take you by surprise? I mean, I kind of expected it, you know, and I, I think um, it's definitely something we've been working on. You know, like when, <laughs> when I give her my hand to dance, she has to take my hand and not take my hand, you know, so. But she's already gotten a lot better at it and sometimes if we're dancing, you know, we dance really yeah. It's close proximity, so if something kind of misstep, she'll kind of like shove me off of her. I'm like, hey, you don't have to shove me right now, you know. But um, she's getting much better at it. You're bringing UFC fans to the ballroom. Yeah. But then you can bring Dancing with the Stars fans to the octagon. Yeah, I would love that, you know, and I, I definitely want to, UFC fans to see that I'm so much more than just a fighter. I fought almost four times last year, and they identify me as a fighter, and I want to show that us straw weights, or even us women MMA fighters, we're more than just more than just tough people that you see locked in a cage. There's sure. this whole other side of us and I just want to bring light to that. And for me, I'm just going out there to have fun. I, I mean, of course I want to win. I'm an athlete. I'm a, You're I, competitive. I'm, competitive. <laughs> I'm very competitive. So I want to win, but the experience is just what, what makes it for me and just inspiring anyone out there that doesn't know if they can rise to the occasion. It's a new challenge for me and I'm excited. As a coach, she's like the dream partner. You know, someone that wants to work hard, someone that's interested and wants to be here. And um, it, it's it's been great so far. I think people are going to be shocked by her. Are you nervous? Like, what do you oh, what do you feel like? Really? Yeah, it's, I'm so nervous. And it's like not the nerves going into a fight. It's more like if I mess up, like I let down my teammate. Like after I let down a teammate, I let down so many more people. So I'm very very nervous. Are you going to do like the pre-fight rituals before you go dance? I probably I have a few pre-fight rituals, so they they're probably going to be incorporated here. Okay, excellent. Well, I can't wait to see it. Paige, best of luck to you. We always love talking to you when we're around the octagon. Now this is even more exciting. Yeah. Well, that's it for our trip to Hollywood. Don't forget to watch the Dancing with the Stars season 22 premiere on Monday the 21st and get your votes in for Paige Van Zandt and her partner Mark Ballas for Team Pal right in the kisser. <laughs>